thank you for joining me. Um, I am Brianna, and this is my life on paper. Welcome back to May I Scrap Lift You, where we scrap lift a different um, person each day of the month, and you can play as you like and, and pick and choose what days and who you want to scrap lift. So today I'm scrapbooking, I am scrap lifting Crafty Queen Cat, and I will have her link below. And then as well as that, I am scrap lifting, or I am playing along with the Crazy Craft Obsession Rainbow Magic, and it's purple. Oh, and um, Crafty Queen Cat is actually Catherine Blue. So I will have all the links below. May I Scrap Lift You has a playlist, so that's exciting, and you can check out everybody playing along there. I found this wonderful monochromatic page by Crafty Queen Cat. It is yellow and I'm changing it to purple. So based on her picture, I went and found pictures of my daughters. They did a weekend. This is a uh, brunch they had with mimosas. I think I'm going to cut these apart and then mat them like um, Catherine has in her picture. And then I just grabbed my wonderful purples. So what I did was I went into my uh, color, my iris bin of purple. Uh, it's They're not just purple papers. They're actually collections that have purple in them. And this one is a paper pad that had, not all these things, but had purple and uh, green and gold and kind of bluey colors, aqua. So I just grabbed out the purples. And then I, I grabbed this really in this, I don't know if this is gonna go, but I wanted a really, um, just a very soft shade of purple um, instead of the white background that she has. So I've got those um, and I can cut those up as I need to, but I also have this whole bunch of goodness of the same shade of purple. And like some of these, I could even just layer if I need to. We shall see. This one's got a little bit of yellow in it, but that's okay too. You can see how you can just layer over the top of that and just use it for the color around there. Um, I just have all this good stuff. There is a lot of um, Ellie's Studio things, which I'm excited to use. There is Randomness. This is a close to my heart sticker. I had done a page with purple octagons, and so I have a bunch of those left over. Here's some Nicole Jones 911 printables. Um, these I've had in my stash forever, and if I could use even just a little part of this, I would be so happy. So I'm going to put those aside, and let's get scrapping. This was a fun one, <clears throat> and took me probably way longer than I should have taken me. And I almost seem, if you watch me, I like almost put like one whole layout together and then take it apart and do it totally different. <clears throat> Let me know below if if that's what you're seeing too. So I did start by trimming the photos apart and then I will back them in this pretty paper. And then after that, I place all these different like cut apart cards and scraps of paper behind it. And then I move them all around again and actually change them out for other things. I'm not sure what I was thinking. I'm not really sure. Just having a play, I guess. And then once you get these all down in a rectangle like this, you can tell how I didn't trim them exactly, so they're not exactly the same size anymore. But um, on, the on, the, on the finished layout, I think, all in all, you're just, you're not gonna really notice that. <clears throat> but sure, gluing them down, I sure did. <laughs> and at one point, I really, I even trimmed one down more. So here's where I switch it out because it's, that was the wrong shade of purple, but it's that pretty soft. And that one card, it, it, that's an LA Studios card back there. Like, I think maybe I thought about not using it because it's so close to the other color, but it just, it, it, it does have a design on it. I think it was really perfect with this. So I just had to use it. I don't know why that little card doesn't make it on there. That's an LA Studio too. That dark piece of paper is just something in my stash that wasn't used for something else. And then I find this title, which I think is perfect because it's not always a, a layout that you can use live the life you love on. So 
and these girls go out for their weekends and have fun. I put that notebook edge down there. I thought it was perfect. Again, I'm not sure why that didn't make it on the final layout. It disappears after a while. Um, those stickers there at Ellie's Studio, love those. You can use them on any layout. So there I finally bring some of that paper in that was what I showed you in the beginning. And then I just sort through the pe purple pieces, say that fast. I do get a couple of hexagons on this layout. Not that those are the, what she had on hers, but just that those were from leftovers from a different layout that I just wanted to get a couple on there. And I still have a couple left. The hearts are left over. I had made a layout that um, cut out these big hearts and it was on one of those kind of mixed media backgrounds. So one of the hearts even looks like it's just white, but it has just a little bit of mixed media on it. And yep, I shuffle that card around again, but it really does stay there. And the title stays there as well. And I've got that cluster up in the right hand side that I like. That shine bright came, it had it was a whole kind of a border strip of different sayings. So I just trimmed that off and it works perfectly up there. And then working on the cluster in the left lower corner. And I apologize, this is sitting low. Um, I get to uh, my creativity going and I don't even notice where I'm at, unfortunately. I do want some of that pattern paper in there and it works lovely as kind of a little shelf right there. I'm still keeping an eye on the scrap lift that I'm lifting or the scrapbook page that I'm lifting so that I it does look in the end uh, like a scrap lift and you can see where I got the inspiration from. And then I start to layer up that all those little pieces so that one piece says, makes me smile. I hope you guys have been having as much fun as I have with watching these scrap lifts. Um, I just, it's kind of out of the box thinking for me. Um, doing sketches is one thing, but taking someone else's uh, scrapbook page and copying it. Um, I love it. I could do this all the time. And maybe I will. Maybe I'll just do it more often. I am joining along once a month um, with me. I scrap lift you, so that's that's fun. Uh, these uh, again are the LA Studio hearts. So I what I do is I just trim out the ones I want to place on the layout before I stick them down. Um, I have hearts, I have stars, and then I have more of a puffy. These are more of a chipboard, and then I also have the puffy ones, and I pick out the dots from the puffy stickers, the pur purple puffy stickers to use on this layout. And then I start gluing things down, um, and you'll see, like, what happened to that notebook edge? Why isn't that on there? That could totally been on there. I don't know, but I, I can use it on a different page. Um... Just making sure everything's really well glued down using my ATG gun to do that. Just lifting up the corners because now that I've got the perfect layout, I don't want to move them out of place. Making sure things are straight because they're not always straight. <laughs> and again, eyeballing. I'm not one to necessarily um, pick up my ruler unless I'm really having issues with it. And then this, I want to make sure it didn't line up exactly on top. So it's either got to be like up taller or down shorter. So put it down shorter. Then I have this random banner from somewhere. So this makes it on the page. And then I layer the makes me smile sticker over the top of that. And that makes me smile. Um, I'm so happy my girls get to get together and have adventures and a good time and new experiences and things like that. And this is one of their weekends where they went to Chicago and they did exactly that. You will probably be seeing more layouts using pictures of the girls weekend. This is just a set of pictures from their brunch from one morning. Uh, that says together, that banner on the top, down goes the heart and uh, that's an Ellie studio label with a star on it. I think I will probably throw the date on there. There's a couple spots where you can do a little bit of journaling. 
and the stickers go on there just like she's got on her scrapbook layout those are some kind of enamel dots they're a little bit different not quite gems but they're a little bit enamel dots then I pick out the dot dots from the puffy stickers purple puffy stickers and the heart goes on top I try really hard to like nestle that in so it's overlapping but not touching anybody or even covering up their head and I eventually get it there and there goes the hexagon and the shine bright strip and then I have a little thing that says happy on it and that's from Ellie's studio and nice and purple so that makes it on there um, doing a lot of layouts with a lot of layering which I tend to keep mine more simple so even though I, I do use embellishments it might be not as layered up as much so I've um, I, I love this this lift I love the layout and it was fun to lift um, check out the May I Scrap Lift You link below. It's everybody that's playing along. Have a fabulous day, and I will see you again soon for another video.